Do we fully appreciate the sacrifice by servicemen and women? Do we acknowledge the life that they have chosen? Jonathan Lucroy did not. People need to realize that whenever someone goes into the military and they sign that paper and is, you know, basically saying that they'll give their life for us if they have to. Deep in the heart of Dixie, on the baseball fields of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, Jonathan Lucroy and John Coker became brothers. I was one of the old guys on the team and I was a freshman coming in and uh, we ended up hanging out a lot just because we were, uh, he lived in an apartment next to me. He was just a fun guy, you know, we had a lot of good times. We'd go out together all the time, you know, he could dance really good, I couldn't. And he could bring in the girls pretty easily and I couldn't. And. Uh, <laughs> So it was kind of a, one of those things where uh, we kind of played off each other a little bit. When their time with the Ragin' Cajuns came to an end, Coker and Lucroy took two very different paths. After I had gotten drafted and I went to play minor league ball, he went back home to Oklahoma and then went to the National Guard and uh, then got deployed. There was three or four years in there that I didn't see him at all, you know, just because he was off doing, you know, doing that. So, and I was playing minor league ball and working my way up here. So. Um, yeah, we've uh, we managed to stay in touch, though. On September 9th, 2011, Coker and his sniper unit were ambushed in Afghanistan. <clears throat> I was in the clubhouse. I believe I was in Milwaukee, and I got a phone call. Did you hear about Coker? And I said no, and they said he was shot. He's in a he's in a coma. And I was like, oh man. It's like what happened? And like they really don't know. And he was. He was in a firefight. John ended up going to San Antonio, to the hospital over there, and that's where he kind of came out of it. And you know, he told me himself after, after the fact. You know, he he remembers waking up in Germany for a little bit. They knocked him back out, and he woke up in San Antonio. You know, and so that's he just he didn't he there was you know a week there of his life he doesn't really re remember anything. John was shot in both legs, and just narrowly escaped bleeding to death, but three members of his team lost their lives that day. None of us can understand what it's like to deal with PTSD or, you know, deal with uh, survivor's guilt and all that stuff that he deals with. For me, I just tried to open, get him to talk about it and just listen, because I mean, obviously I don't know, I can't speak on experience with that. I just try to listen and see if he'll let it out and see if we can just try to, you know, to uh, release some of the pent up emotions that the guy carries. Coker would complete a long, grueling recovery and is still active in the military to this day. The experience of nearly losing his best friend would forever change Lucroy. We as Americans can be very selfish and we, you know, we see what's in front of us and we don't understand what goes on, you know, outside our neighborhood or outside our city we live in or even outside our country. I was naive and young and I didn't really understand. I mean, it's like anything else. You really don't understand it until something personal happens to you. And then all of a sudden you're like, man, it kind of opens your eyes a little bit. It definitely went away after that because I, I remember calling my agent and telling him, hey, I want to work on military charities. I want to do this. Lucroy became a fixture at veteran and military charities, work he still continues to this day. A lot of very uh, unique experiences that I've gotten to be a part of. It just makes you realize, you know, it could always, you know, you, this game is very difficult. It's a difficult life to live in, you know, being away from your family. And, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of positives to it, you know. Um, very grateful and blessed to be in this life. We go out every day and we play a game for a living, you know. We're not getting shot at, you know. We're not getting blown up. This is not a life or death thing, you know. Um, it really puts things in perspective for you. Lucroy will spend this Memorial Day on the field playing America's pastime and honoring our nation's armed forces, hoping that those who are watching will not make the same mistake he once did. We've had men and women die for that right, for, for freedom, for so we could live here. And, um, you know, to protect our country and, and to give us this great life that we have, you know, and we, <laughs> it can always be a lot worse, for sure. And uh, I think sometimes people don't, under, don't really, um, they're not attached to that reality. They don't, they kind of take it for granted or they do take it for granted, just like I did, but I don't, I don't take it for granted anymore.